In this lesson, we will boost our dashboard to the next level with linked analysis. Right now, I am in the view mode and if I left click, for example, on the consumer segment and click on the little filter symbol, nothing happens to the other charts in the dashboard. So I click once again on the consumer segment and delete the filter. The only little interactive thing that I can do as a user is click on the consumer segment and hover over the corporate segment to display the difference between both bars. However, we want a little bit more. We want to filter the whole dashboard by the consumer segment to enable deep dive analyses. Let's go to the edit mode and click on the three points of our segment chart. In the context menu, we go to linked analysis. Here we have different options to activate linked analysis. Let's go through it. The first one is all widgets in story. Click on apply and then let's see how this works in the view mode. If I now click on the consumer segment and on the filter button, all charts in our story are filtered by consumer. You see total sales are now about $70 million, markets are filtered and so on. If we had more than one page in our story, even the other pages would be filtered. Going back to the edit mode and to the linked analysis options, we select the next option, which is all widgets on this page. Now here we have an interesting setting, it's called filter on data point selection. I will show you what this means in practice. So far we had to first click on the bar and second click on the filter symbol to filter by consumer. Now with the new setting, one click is sufficient to filter all other charts. To deselect the filter, just click on the bar once again. With this option, we filter the whole page, but no further pages in our story. The last option is called only selected widgets. And here we have some more settings to adjust. I recommend to activate the first one in order to connect newly created widgets to the chart. The second one is helpful too, as you have seen before. And below we can select or deselect widgets that should be not affected by our filter. In our case, we could deselect, for example, the total sales chart, since we always want to see the original total value. When we test this option in the view mode, nothing surprising happens. All charts except the total sales will be filtered by consumer. By the way, you can also test linked analysis in the edit mode. As a next step, I will activate linked analysis to all other bar charts on the dashboard. Please notice that the time series chart offers no linked analysis. It will be filtered by the other charts. However, it cannot be used as a filter for other charts. Let's save the story and go to the view mode to show you some characteristics. Now that we have several charts with linked analysis, you have to be aware of some filter behaviors. When I left click on the consumer segment, for example, the other charts will be filtered. If I then do the same, for example, with a specific market, all other charts are filtered by the market and the initial consumer segment filter disappears. If I once again click on the consumer segment, you see that the chart filters cancel each other. In comparison to other dashboard tools, this might be a little bit confusing at first sight. If you want to filter by different charts, you always have to filter the chart items with the filter symbol. Unfortunately, you won't see the other items on your charts anymore. If I click on the market Latin America now, the consumer segment stays active as a filter. So that's the workaround to use more than one filter interactively. By the way, if you want to select two or more items in one chart, hit the control button on your keyboard while selecting the items with your mouse. In order to delete your filters, there are different alternatives. Ordinary filters can be removed with one click on the bar, as you know, to 
delete the Latin America filter, click on the bar and then on the delete symbol. Another option is to click on the blue filter text below the chart title and delete the filter like here with country. If you have many filters activated and you are not sure anymore where you clicked on, there's a last alternative to get rid of all filters. Go to edit and then click on reset. This will reset your whole dashboard to the initial state when it was opened in the beginning. Sometimes this is the best and quickest way to delete your filters. Perfect. With linked analysis, we now have one of the most important features of dashboards and we are able to interactively analyze our values. This is a really considerable advantage over inflexible PowerPoint and Excel reports. If you want to become the SAC expert in your team, then please check out my SAC masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.